Hey everybody, it's time to bourbon up with Bourbon Frenzy. This week's bourbon review featured Odezra, Seven Year Old. The distiller is unknown, but probably Heaven Hill or Barton Distilleries. It's aged for seven years at 117 proof. The ABV is 58.5%. It's barrel proof and non-chill filtered, and you can find it for about $40. Hey everybody, so this week on Bourbon Frenzy, we're going to review Old Ezra 7 year old. Now this bourbon uh, is easily available. You can find it on most shelves. Uh, well, I say that, but then I had, I came upon it the other day and uh, I found I hadn't seen it in a while and I came on several bottles so I, I kind of bought three uh, just to make sure that I have plenty until I find it again. Uh, a lot of people think that just because we're here in Kentucky that you know the bourbon falls off on the trees and we can enjoy every bourbon that's made here. Not really. Uh, actually other states get bourbons that we're, we don't have available to us. We, I've had a drive to Ohio and Indianapolis uh, to find certain bourbons uh, that were there that's not here. You can generally find this uh, in most liquor stores. This isn't a hard one to find. Uh, with our, our reviews, we're trying to go more of bourbons that everybody can enjoy, uh, that you can find. Uh, in the past episodes, we've really hit on some, some bourbons that you know most people aren't gonna spend that much money on or they can't find it in their areas. So we're kind of concentrating on some bourbons that uh, is more readily available to everybody so everybody can enjoy it. Uh, this is 117 proof and it is an ABV of 58.5%. It is a uh, non-chill filter. It costs you around 40 bucks and it is a barrel strength, a cast strength bourbon, which as you know, if you watched that, other episodes, those are generally my favorites, but maybe not everybody's. What's awesome about cast strength, barrel strength, same thing, uh, bourbons, is that, you know, every barrel tastes a little bit different. So what this tastes like, another one would probably be similar to, uh, but not always identical. So today's tasting notes, we're going to tell you what's here, and then whatever uh, cast strength that you find, it'll taste close to that, if not the same. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Pop that cork. Of course, it's got a beautiful color to it. I don't know that you can, well, you can see it. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, nose it and see what we find. Right off hand, I get a, a, uh, an aroma of uh, dark fruits, probably more raisins. I don't smell raisins in there. Uh, oak, different spices. Um, what's really crazy about this, and I've smelled this before too, but I want to just make sure. <laughs> uh, there, you get with this one and and Old Ezra Seven, pretty much. I've, I've had several bottles. Uh, there, there is a towards the end an aroma of cocoa, in that, and you're going to see that again soon. So, with uh, the nose, we get dark fruits. I, I think I'm getting raisins, uh, oak, spices, cocoa. Uh, let's go ahead and taste it. There's a lot going on with this bourbon. Uh, right off hand, you get a little tingle on the tip of your tongue and it works its way back uh, towards the back. Uh, I get taste of oak, uh, that cocoa that I said in the nose. Uh, you can taste the cocoa. Raisins. 
spices and, and one of the spices that I can get from this is nutmeg. Uh, and then once it goes over, you start tasting a sweeter taste towards the end. Um, that kind of maybe honey and uh, there's a little brown sugar in that as well. Uh, on the uh, finish, it's medium to long. I'm still feeling it. I have a little bit of the, what they call the Kentucky Strangle uh, with this. You can feel it. I mean, it starts at the tip and it works itself down the neck, uh, your throat, your neck, and then it's kind of a little bit in your chest there. Uh, it, it stays with you. It's not one of those that's overpowering that's going to knock you on your feet, but it lets you know it's there. Um, you get tastes uh, on the finish. Definite corn, um, vanilla, and just that, that spiciness. And like I said, it's not like a jalapeno or habanero spice. It's like baking spices, but it, it's very profound. Overall, this is a good bourbon. It, it, it really is. Um, like I said, it's it, you can find it most places. Um, it's not very expensive, uh, forty bucks. Sometimes you can find a little bit cheaper than that. It's it's well balanced. It's very complex with the nose and the uh, palate. There's a lot of flavors and a lot of aromas that are going on in there. Um, it, it's just one after the other, after the other, after the other. And I like that in bourbon. Um, it's very warm. It has a dry taste to it. But very complex. I, I, if you spend some time with this bourbon, you can taste many different flavors. You can smell many different aromas. Uh, I like it. Uh, for a score, we're going to give it an 8.7 out of 10. And we highly recommend this, and you should go out, buy this, and put it on your shelf at home. Uh, so until next time, this is John with Bourbon Frenzy. Thanks for stopping by. Please check us out, follow us, subscribe, hit that little bell down there, wherever it's at, uh, so it lets you know when I put out a new video. Um, we're on Instagram, Bourbon Frenzy. We're on Facebook and Twitter. That's very young. We're trying to get that going now, um, but Instagram we're pretty strong on, um, so please check us out there, but please subscribe. Uh, you know, all the whiskey tubers that put this out, you can that's the way you can support us, is just by subscribing and telling your friends about us and liking our videos, and so I hope you do that. Um, until next time, this is John, Bourbon Frenzy, and cheers. It's good stuff. Our tasting notes include a nose of dark fruits, oak, spice, and cocoa. The palate included oak, cocoa, dark fruits, nutmeg, honey, spice, and brown sugar. It has a medium to long finish with corn, vanilla, and spice. Our overall thoughts on Old Ezra Seven Year Old, it's a well-balanced bourbon. It's warm and dry and complex on the nose and the palate, with a great finish at the end that's medium to long. It's quite affordable at $40, and we give it a score of 8.7 out of 10. This bourbon should definitely be on your shelf at home.